Hey, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video on choosing lenses for your glasses. I know that's kind of a banal topic, but my eyes just recently started going bad with age. And when I mean bad, I mean uh, looking up close, reading up close, and then I had the distance thing going on, and then this last year the glare thing happened. And it's pretty normal after you hit 40, I guess, for your eyes to start going. And I've had perfect vision most of my life, so I really can't complain. Initially, when I got my glasses, I got the bifocals, the last prescription last year. So we had the little line down here, and I could see distance, and then I could see up close really well. My eyes are really important to me because I'm an artist, and I spend a lot of time focusing and looking at things up close. The problem was with the bifocals is that I would have to take my glasses off to see in that medium range. So I tended not to wear my glasses very often because it was such a pain in the ass because I'm always doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. So my advice to you, if you're getting glasses for the first time for distance or reading or age related is save up your money or make sure your insurance covers transition lenses. This time I got the transition lenses which simply means I don't have to take these off. The, it automatically will transition for me when I look up and down the glasses. Now you have to get used to this. It's a little dizzying at first, but your eyes will acclimate really quickly to it. And now I don't have to take my glasses off at all. It's automatic. I can see great distance. I can see up close at a reasonable, a reasonable distance. And I don't have to take them off to see in between, you know, from me to the couch. So if you're going to get glasses and you're like, what's up with that transition thing? Uh, I highly recommend if you're in your mid to late 40s or older that you go for the transition lenses and get the anti-glare. I also got the anti-glare for when I drive at night and when I are driving through the mountains because we have a lot of light and shadow and that was really messing with me. So with those two things, you should be good to go. They also have a blue blocker if you spend a lot of time in front of a computer, which helps to with the glare of the computer and protect your eyes from the computer, which is another great feature out there now that you may want to invest in. That's it. That's my, my friend recently had asked about this. Uh, you know, he was getting a pair of glasses and I thought, huh, okay, maybe I'll make a video about that and just share with people my personal experience with bifocals versus the transition lenses. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. Please don't take it personally if I don't get to you right away. And if you find my videos informative, please join. It helps. Take care.